got time. Got time for nobody. I don't got time for nobody. That man in 2023. Bro. How funny would that be, though, if somebody recorded that? <laughs> Boys are back. Boys are back in town. Yeah, literally. Literally. Literally, literally and figuratively. Yeah, hey boy. We are back. We, you got a question for the people. I do got a question this week. Talk to him. Well, this week we'll do a little different. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Football's here. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And gas money, house money will be starting in a couple weeks. Yes, sir. Yeah, it is. So yeah. uh, we got a we had a tie game last week. Tie. I, uh, did you win? Come on, bro. You know we tied, bro. We had a tie championship okay. last year. Yeah, he tied. We had a tie championship last yeah. year. So I mean, uh, he, he really cheated. No, uh, we're not Jeff. gonna do that. He really cheated, we're Jeff. Not but do I'll that. take the I'll take the tie. You know what I'm saying? Slip I count. cheated, Jeff. <laughs> no, no, I ain't talking about you. I said, yeah. yeah oh, I che- yeah. how did I cheat him? Somebody cheated Jeff. Jeff was supposed. If somebody got cheated, I don't know. But go ahead. Okay. Yeah. yeah, here we go. So, uh, we came together on some brain trust and <laughs> came up with a. Uh, no, we did. <laughs> oh, it wasn't me. Uh, it was, uh, <laughs> yeah, the yeah, other brain trust. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and the brain trust. Y'all talking though. Oh my God. Right, Here we go. Um, tell them about the new rules, yeah. Ah, new rules for for uh, yes, gas money, house money. Yeah, yeah, cause I don't know nothing about no rules either. <laughs> Tell about new rules. We got new rules. <laughs> yeah. So there's a new rule for gas money, house money this year. Okay. Money lines are okay. That's bullshit. Money lines are fine. No more controversy about using the money line. If you tuned in last year, you, you know it was a big controversy about how money line. <laughs> I, I ain't playing rules. Money lines are available. However, coach, if you use a team for money line. Once you use them, that team is no longer available for you to be used as a money line again. So if you pick the Chiefs money line over the Detroit Lions in week one, you can no longer use the Chiefs again as a money line team. This year's gas Chiefs money, again, house you money. Gotta, you, you could use, use spread. spread. You could okay. use a spread. Or you could use the money line against them. But right. you can't bet for a money line right. with the Chiefs. Okay. I'm hosting gas money, house money. I'm not playing. I'm hosting. I, I will be a uh, big tigger. Come on, nah. I'm Big Tigger. You can't bring me uh, here. Oh, I'm uh, who else? What we got? Nah, who, give me nah. another cool host. Nah. Give, I'm Don Cornelius. Give him a lady. He gave you a better wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, your mic ain't working. That's good. Too. <laughs> <laughs> What's, my, what's yeah. my girl from? That's the only rule. What was her name? I can't remember. Ananda Lewis. Amanda. Amanda Lewis. Yeah, you got me Ananda Lewis. Amanda Lewis. It's Ananda. It's Ananda. It's Ananda. Yeah, so dead. so that's it, Jeff. That's the whole rules. That's, that's what y'all rule. got. Yeah, that's the only rule. I heard you. That's a Weezy, that's a Weezy, Weezy production. Oh, okay, Weezy. so he called and told you that on vacation. Nah, he actually just hit me when we was walking. <laughs> oh, check, <laughs> check, 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 check. Yeah, yeah. He did. Yeah. Nah, he popped. Oh, he popped. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, for sure. it, it's for your rule. I ain't tripping about that. I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, play, I'm a non Lewis ever. They want to call me. Uh, who else? I am uh I'm Brian Seacrest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that vibe killer thing. You, 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 you doing American it again? Idol, I don't give a damn. You That's know American I don't give a damn Idol. about that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I am uh, <laughs> Nick Cannon. Nick Cannon. 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 Let's get, Cannon. It. Cannon. Let's get it, guys. Back. Oh, sport press. Yeah. No layup line, no warm ups, no nothing. We just walking right into the stadium, get into the game. Let's do it. When the beat on, then it's on When our white jerseys on the road Cause how we feel where we roam is our home Leaving these other podcasts null and void The show can't miss something like Tom Shepard and Corduroy's Full sport press, you know them boys Jay run the point, lock for three And me, I crashed the boys Weezy told you that it's paid for Full sport press Greetings and salutations. I would like to welcome everybody back and some of you for the first time to the full sport press podcast, the premier sports podcast for the consummate sports fan. And this is your one stop shop for all sports related news and topics. I am Jay Ho. It's your boy, Big Jeff. It's your boy, Weezy. What did it do? It's your man, Coach Lock. Cameron, how you doing, brother? Okay. Oh, oh, and all right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Sure. Oh, 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 hey, he shot everybody. Yeah. 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 He shot Lock twice. One for the road. Right. What I yeah. do? Okay. There we go. All right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah. All right. He wanted to make sure I was. Out. Yeah. He got. He got yeah. you twice. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> now he. You know. You hit you twice. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. yeah. Twice. yeah. yeah. You hit him twice. Cool. Yeah, your aim was out. You were shooting at me. Shoot him back, huh? again. Yeah. Nah. Fight nah. <laughs> fire with fire. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Episode 481, guys. We're kicking off the 2023 college football season with some early predictions. FSP style. Always FSP style. You better damn know it. You better damn believe it. Kick it off, Jeff. Best of the week. Talk to the people. Ah, oh, man. Coach, like you like this. Mm. For the first time in roughly 10 to 15 years. I hooped last weekend. Mm. Yeah. Oh. 
Who? No way. Mm. Yeah. Who? No mm. way. Who? How do you feel? I was hurting I'm sure until you. when. So I hooped on Sunday. Like you hooped too? Hooped like you ran full ran, court? Ran full court two games. Oh. oh. I'm in the league and everything. Oh. Uh, in the Fat Boy League. In the Fat Boy League. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm pulling up. That's a game. That game. That's is, yeah. yeah, we pulling some. Where is it at? Never it's, mind. They ain't put it out there. Yeah, yet. okay. Yeah. 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 I'm in the Fat Boy League. Sorry, you, yeah. yeah. I'm getting it back out there. Had to get my shoulder. Yeah. Had to get my shoulder together. My jumper yeah. looked different because my shoulder was yeah. You know, I was in the wreck. My yeah. shoulder, my shoulder yeah. looked different. But yeah, we getting back. Getting back. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, word of advice. Stretch. There you go. <laughs> for, for my before, 15 and 20 after. minutes. Hold on. Before, during, and, and after. after. My 15, though. No. Yes, 15 to 20. Lord. Both times. Yes, sir. There you go. Okay. All right. All right, okay. Coach. Best of the week. Talk to the people. Best of the week for me, man, is my guy Dwayne Wade's Hall of Fame induction. Yeah. You know, dope. shout out to my guy, man. He, he deserved it. Bro, he changed his outfit three times. He bro. deserved he it. He did That's what he knew, though. Bro, he That's changed he his outfit three times. So did he not that? deserve a Hall of Fame? No, he deserved a Hall of oh, Fame. He didn't deserve to change three that's times. That's all I said, dog. That, that was a surprise. That was, that was, that was, we, 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 we had a true stand night. You know? We had AI, AI, AI did his introduction. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. saying? That's how you do it, man. Some yeah. shots to my boy D-Wade. All right. Yeah. Look, 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 you were on one and right? <laughs> just, There's no reason for you. You were sitting in the chair and you was changing outfits. <laughs> No, no, no! You're not hearing no, me. No, it's, during it's, the ceremony, it's during the ceremony. Dirk is up. He had on a different outfit. Then yeah. Pop goes up. He had, and then he put on his final ensemble yeah. for the last one. Yeah. Like that's crazy. Yeah. Way that's ridiculous. I ain't speaking on that. Yeah, yeah. different. Yeah. Uh, you know. Best of the week, we just talk to the people. Best week, man. I had a little vacation this week, man. Got some sunshine and was able to get up without the alarm clock. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just chill out. Good. Yeah, it's good. You Shout need to, to you. everybody need to press the reset yeah. button. Mm-hmm. That's needed, man. Yes, sir. Sun rays. You still smell like a vacation, yeah. too, yeah. though. Shout out to yeah. you. Yeah. Nothing well, like it. My best of the week is Madden, guys. Yeah. Um, another year of Bill Belichick refusing to be in Madden. It's crazy. Uh, so EA Sports got in the lab and combined Bill Belichick, Matt Patricia, and Josh McDaniels for his headshot mm-hmm. on Madden. So if you look and see the coach mm-hmm. of the New England Patriots, the combination of all three guys. So cool they to diff- see. They have a diff- different name too, right? Yeah, his name, I forgot Something the name. Crazy. Some yeah. weird. I yeah. saw it. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. 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 never been on Madden. That's wild. Crazy. Oh, they, oh, okay. Um, 2K. Live yeah. either. Here's the thing too. What they need to do though is make sure that they do the headshots. I mean, not the face scans for yeah. all of the players. Like, Joe Mixon don't have a face scan. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kevin Byard don't have a face scan. Been in the dog. league long enough. To have They've a face been, scan. yeah, they're all pro guys, yeah. man. Take yeah. care of them. They need to take a page from 2K book. How when they come to the, yeah, what you yeah. call it? Yeah. Go on and face scan them right there. Get them you would the think. Way. I don't know. Worst of the week. We used to talk to the people. Worst of the week, man. One of my boys, one of my tight boys, went down this week mm. and joined practice. Mm. Tell them Burks, man. But uh, I mean, it was good news. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't. He ain't out for the season. Just. It's an LCL sprain. Mm-hmm. Two to five weeks. He'll be back. Yeah. So hopefully he'll be back. Maybe week two. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, yeah. My, my thing with NFL is, Uh-oh. if you're not going to play your starters at all preseason, why play them in the joint practice where the gets one one one? It's the same thing. You yeah. got to get some reps You got to get some reps. You got to get some reps. You got to get some reps. Get some reps. Yeah. 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 Injuries going to happen. You just got to yeah. make sure that... Just luck at the draw, man. Yeah. Just luck at the draw. Yeah. yeah. My worst of the week. I got two guys. The first one um, is Bone Thugs and Harmony. Poor guys in Cleveland, man. <laughs> um, less than 48 hours after having a street named after them in Cleveland, somebody stole the damn sign. Come on, man. <laughs> Come you on, better man. better Cleveland. Dude. Damn. It's 1999. My. God. Yeah. That's what they <laughs> were, too. Yeah. They came back in the day. <laughs> that was a big joint. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my second one, I was talking to Sean Wash. Uh oh. Um, and he was arguing for Jalen Hurts being a top two, three quarterback. Yeah. And he came through with a really bad stat. And he said that. He said, no. Nah, uh, no. Nah. You know how Wash yeah. is. <laughs> he said, uh, uh, I said, Justin Fields, you know, he had the most rushing yards in the NFL at the quarterback position. Only three guys in NFL history got 1,000 rushing yards, him, Vic, and uh, Lamar, Lamar Jackson. Jackson. So, Wash says, are we bringing up Justin Fields? He threw more picks than he threw touchdowns. And I said, <laughs> you been listening to FSP? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, that's a wheezy stat. He lied to you. Uh, <laughs> he actually had 17 touchdowns, 11 picks last year. So, you know, it was, it was a wrong stat, though. So, what I'm saying is people listening, got to make sure you got the correct stats. 
Because Watts tried that, to use it. So that was a shot at me. No, no, not Watts. Oh, no, it was a shot at Watts. Both of them shot. Because, <laughs> you in, because you know, he used he it. Out he, out he, used it in the, he had the Draco. <laughs> he had the switch. He had the yeah. switch out. He <laughs> used it. It, it, it wasn't that. Yeah. I mean, it's my, I mean, my show, too. We just, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm calling my, my co host saying you're about to go. Look, he used it in an argument. And he's like, damn. He was doing the big soldier. He can't do like big soldier. So, yeah, uh, do better Cleveland and do better Wash for uh, with Cox Sports. Yeah. Cox Sports. Yeah. Huh? Do better Weezy. Oh, no, no. Ain't Weezy, all right. He done already figured it out. Yeah, but Wash, but why? They let you know people listening for sure. My bad, Wash. That's me. My yeah. bad. It's all good. I'm making some burgers. Come to the house. We get some burgers. Yeah, yeah. We're not with that thumb. The thumb, thumb, thumb. <laughs> oh, oh man. Thumb, thumb, thumb. He, he on one today. Yeah. <laughs> I like it, though. I like it. He on uh, one today. <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do, you do, Kyle? He's making a donut. donut. Made yeah. that bun a donut. Is he? Dr- is he? He break his boy into it. And his boy gonna ride with him. Yeah, right. I said, if anybody gonna ride, it's gonna be Coach. Coach Shotgun. Come on, every time. Worst of the week, Coach. Talk keep your, keep your window raised up, Coach. Yeah. Keep the window raised up. My worst of the week is similar to the thieves in Cleveland, man. Sabrina Nescu had her shoes stolen. Yeah, that's crazy. When they were on the road from the games. Man, her own personal Sabrina Nescu won. Two different kinds. Yep. What the field night. And the other green organ duck style, man. Come mm-hmm. on, man. how how are we in a WNBA arena, and somebody gets into the visitors team's locker room mm-hmm. and steals their shoes? Mm-hmm. And she just said she want her insoles. That's all she want back, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Debate specifically for her. Yeah, man. I, I hate That's a thief. solid shoe. That's a solid it shoe. Is. That's it a is. solid shoe. Solid that shoe. might be. I'm telling top, you, top. Number one Nikes, it's in that range. Hey, I'm yeah. telling you, people, it's gonna be W. It's gonna be NBA players yeah. playing in those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They unisex. I hate yeah. a thief. Yeah, ain't nothing worse than thief. Thief, stop thief. 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 <laughs> thief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he, yeah, right. he out of commission. Right. What you got, Jeff? <laughs> Hey, my worst of the week, man. Had a tire explode on me this week, oh, man. Damn. Yeah, it's rough. In your car? Yeah, it's rough. I, I must have hit something, rolled over something. I was just head on the interstate coach. Ooh. And just driving. You know how to, it pop up at the tire pressure pop I know it's real. You hit that it, third it, line on 24. Yeah. <laughs> that third line on 24. It popped up. It was <laughs> straight. Did it with the 15? Did it with the zero? I said, we got this there, bro. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah. And, the whole, and the best up thing about it is, you know, we all know how to change the tire. Yeah. Just hopped out to change the tire. And I <laughs> about that. You don't want to change time? I do. Uh, he's, saying, he's saying, I don't know. Uh, he's, trying, uh, he's trying to get some get back. And okay, I know all right, all right. I'm staying out of that one. Yeah. Yeah. Hop y'all coat. Yeah. 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 Time, man. Hit the jack. Grab the thing to take the, the lug nuts off. Lug nuts got welded in there because I drove mm. on it. <sighs> had to call. Had to call. Um, Triple A. Trip, no, yeah, roadside assistant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Took an hour and a half, two hours out of my day. Oh, yeah. don't, they don't take, they take their time. They yeah, take their time. Yeah. Yeah. That was some slow. Yeah. Yeah. I, man, I, for, I mean, for a five minute job, though. Just right. to, doop, top, top it off the shoot, truck. Shoot, 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 shoot. They got that. Just, man, oh, they man. Take them they got no time. off Amazon that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah 20, got the, their $3 dollars spent in a long time. Yeah. 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 I'm just glad it, it didn't pop on you while you drive. Yeah. You control the car. That happened. I said third lane on 24. Mm-hmm. All right. Taking people out. <laughs> Check us out on iTunes, Facebook, Instagram, Google Play. If you're listening on Stitcher, remember, August 26th, Stitcher is gone. So please find us on another platform such as maybe Spotify, Beyond Pod, YouTube, Amazon Music to catch up on the full archive of past episodes of FSP. Just simply search Full Sport Press Podcast. And before we get started with the first tab, J-Hope. Yes, sir. And Wheezy. Did you guys have a yellow box of Cheerios recipient for our listeners? We do. This week's award recipient is Michael Orr's Blindside Family. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> Michael Orr has filed a petition alleging that his adopted family was a lie and caught it by Sean and Lee Ann Tui. Now, the retired NFL lineman who just got married says he was tricked into making uh, them his conservators, legally allowing them to make business deals in his name. The blind side had a budget of $30 million and grossed $300 million in the box office. Based on standard cut, the movie netly roughed right around $175 million. The Tui's children reportedly got $225,000 plus 2.5% of net proceeds. Mm. Royalties. That's four point six a piece. We mm. Man. Man. They lied and said that boy was a special needs black giant who never seen a bed or a football field. Couldn't read. His kid was homeless. That's not true. He was a foster kid because his mom was on drugs. He was the number seven player in the country 
when they decided to make that great decision to put him in the 360 deal. So yeah. mm-hmm. it's tough, man. Crazy thing. My bad. Go ahead, Jason. I'm done. If you if you've seen the movie, man. There's a scene in the movie where, where the NCAA steps in to try to prevent this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And clearly, someone knew what was up. Mm-hmm. And they played it off as the saviors of Michael Orr and, you know, gave him a, a chance in life, bought him a truck, mm-hmm. and he was the big, dumb, <laughs> big, dope, big, dumb, slow offensive lineman. Yep. Dang. Bro. Yeah, they, they did him dirty, man. Shout yeah. out to my yeah. swagger watchers. Yeah. Something like, I ain't gonna spoil Jackers. it, but you'll see if you watch the show Swagger. Yeah. 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 Sure did. They tried. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They sure did try yeah. to do Nick Mendez yeah. something like that. Yeah. Yeah, spoiler did. alert. That was a spoiler <laughs> alert. Everybody, nobody else is watching Swagger but me and Coach. I am saying. Spoiler it's alert. Apple. It's on Apple. It's on the queue. Yeah. It's on yeah. the queue. It's yeah. a good one, Jeff. Yeah, you'll okay. like it's that. Real good. Yeah. But like I, I, got a, I got a point with this, um, with this Michael Orr thing. Here's the thing with this. He probably got into a bad deal. For sure. He did. But when this movie came out, he was a grown man in the league. He was in the league. He was, yeah, he was in the league. So you yeah. said yeah, why a, he just now saying something? No, it's not that. He had to sign up from some type of deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, oh, yeah. No, he, he, had he to signed sign that as a key. Before. He, signed, he, he signed, signed that forever. as a key. He signed something before. Yeah, no, he signed it. He signed that contract for, for conservatorship as a kid. Right. So yeah. that's why he couldn't that's say nothing. That's why name. he couldn't say nothing. So he didn't, when they made the movie, that they couldn't use his name? No, the conservative yeah. was that they're, they're basically, you know how Britney Spears' parents had like oh, say so over his uh, yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, was, got you. he was wrapped in that 360 yeah. deal. That's a 360 deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the original 360. Yeah. OG 360. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He lives in Nashville sometimes, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm almost for sure yeah. he does. Yeah, so like, he's, he's here. He's yeah, come yeah, on the show yeah, talking yeah, event. Yeah. Come on, tell us how yeah, you we feel, We got to get Big Mike in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll talk to him about that. Yeah. You guys ready to get started the first half? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Got merch on? What's up? Full Sport Press Podcast Get your merch. Get your hats. Get your hoodies. Get your, hoodies, get your t-shirts. Get your long sleeve tee. We got you covered, man. We got you covered. More stuff on the way. I always tell a friend, tell a friend <laughs> to tell a friend that we are out. First half, the hottest sports news of the past week, like we do each and every week here at the Full Sport Press Podcast. Before we get started, I am Jay Ho. It's your boy Big Jeff. It's your boy Weezy. What it do? It's your man, Coach Lop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, where can they find you on social media, my dude? I'm Jay Easley 84 across all social media platforms. Coach Lot, where can they find you on social media? Nothing has changed. It's Lock underscore the underscore great. That's T H A. Get at me. Yeah, yeah. Jay, where can they find you on social media? Yep, Jay Hove on Instagram and Twitter. Let's talk on Twitter. Uh, everything's paid for, ain't it? On Twitter. You paying for these uh, arguments that I got coming up? Because people yeah, mad. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, people upset. Yeah. All right, whatever you need, I got it. It's I know peaceful you on threes, dog. Hey, hey, Come over three. It's peaceful on three. four months, dog. You can't let your boy down, man. No, nah, I got you. you I got, got four you. months, dog. I'm telling you. Yeah, sweet. that's going to be tough, Coach. Come on, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you can't hold your boy down, man. You can't let I always do, Coach. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. always do, Coach. I, I, I bet how easy <laughs> on Twitter. I'm at <laughs> FXP Weezy on IG. Holla at me. Yeah, holla at you. Yeah. Let's keep the first half off with some soccer talk, guys. Mm. There's a lot of soccer talk yeah. in the first half of FSP. I love it. Yeah, 31-year-old soccer superstar Neymar has signed a two-year deal to join Saudi Arabian club Al-Halil. Now, the Saudi Giants paid PSG $98 million for the transfer fee, and the Brazilian star will earn $145 million a year. The perks are the real fine of this deal. Neymar has a private plane at his disposal. He has a full mansion with a staff at his disposal. He will receive $80,000 for every win. And we'll also receive $600,000 for every social media post related to Saudi Arabia. Mm, mm, mm. Cash me out. Mm, What's next mm. for the Saudis, coach? More of the same. Yeah. <laughs> when you got money like they got, or have, shall I say, shout out to my mom's when she listens, she likes to correct the English grammar. Yeah. Um, they don't care about the money. No. They're going to try to get as many big stars as they can over there to try to get as much attention on them as they can and that's why they throwing this money like that they couldn't get messy they couldn't get i mean they did get ronaldo but he left who was on a 75 million dollar per year contract that could have been 200 million they uh had to get p had to give psg 100 mil from this deal and they just gonna keep giving out the money like this and try to get as many people as they can because they say you know shoot for the stars mm-hmm. and if you miss Hell yeah. You, you know, put a move, see <laughs> yeah. amongst those stars. You know what I'm saying? Who, that's what they doing. And as a player, 
How you don't? How you don't at least take that phone call? You now know you what gotta man? take the phone call. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Looking at you, Mbappe. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he gonna take the phone call too. Man, he took it. He took it. He's he too young. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, you do it yeah. at the end. That's like Messi took the call. That's why he yeah. got suspended because he took the call. One one year though. Yeah. One one year. <laughs> Seven hundred. Anyway, man. now answer your question. What's next for yeah. Saudi Arabia? I, I mentioned it on here before. NBA is next. The NBA is going to be next. They're going to continue throwing this money around to individual players, building up the equity to then come up and purchase an NBA team or be a part of the expansion of NBA growth. I can guarantee it. Gotcha. And they ain't, and they ain't got to worry about them taking it. <laughs> they got to worry about them telling them no. <laughs> them boys going to take that money. Yeah, the NBA going to take the money. Yeah, let yeah. them call James Harden right now. Yeah. <laughs> James Harden played the league by himself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got some weed? With what? I just talked about it. Oh, okay, that's what you're going. Okay, cool. But I'm going to go more on the soccer side of things. The real sad story about this is Neymar is supposed to be the guy, just a real talented guy, one of the more talented young soccer players that we saw uh, coming up. He had, what, maybe two, maybe three really good seasons playing in Europe. He was supposed to be the next Pele. He was supposed to pick up where Messi dropped off, kind of where Ronaldo and Messi, and then, boom, it was supposed to be Neymar. Never won a Champions League title. Never, ever won the equivalent of the MVP of soccer. Just imagine LeBron James never won a championship or MVP. It would be yeah. the equivalent of that. So he should have never left Barcelona, but I know why he left, because he was under the shadow of Messi. It's hard to play alongside Messi. Then what he do? He went to PSG, yeah. and he was behind the shadow of a younger player in Mbappe. So his European career is over with, and he just went and said, you know what, let me just go get as much money as I can, and he's going to do that. Then he'll probably end up in MLS uh, getting some money somehow that way. But, yeah, his European career is over with. And then he has another expansion team he goes to MLS. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's tough. Yeah. That's, that's the hustle. Yeah, that's the hustle. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of career being over somewhere, oh, we have <laughs> – <laughs> Dang. James Harden versus Moray from the Philadelphia 76ers. Mm. Now, the Philadelphia 76 star James Harden called out his own team's president and called him a liar in a surprising attack amid ongoing trade speculation around the 2018 MVP award winner. He says, and I quote, Dale Moray is a liar and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. He said this for an event in China, and he said, and I quote, let me say that again. Mm -hmm. Del Murray is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Mm -hmm. My question to you guys with this happening, have we seen Harden in the 76ers jersey for the last time, Jeff? So you would think that Daryl Moore is going to have to, he's put him into, James Harden being he, has put Daryl Moore into a rough spot. Because mm -hmm. you can't come back to the team after doing this. Now, if you're James Harden, your questions and your reason for saying these things is actually quite pretty valid. If you took a pay cut for the team to be able to sign other people in return being promised that you're going to be rewarded on the back end and you don't get that reward and then you ask for a trade and you don't get that trade, I can see why he would be upset with that gentleman. Yeah. I really do. That makes sense. Please. See, well, here's the thing. James Harden is pissed off and he has a right to be pissed off. Somebody tell me, I promise you some money, you're going to get on the back end and, and everything fell through. But here's the thing. Them guys have history together. Yeah, from Houston. <laughs> James Harden won an MVP when, when this guy was a president in, in Houston. James Harden was a all-time leading scorer in the NBA when this, I mean, well, season, or for, for the season, yeah. when this guy was in Houston. Uh, he kind of let James Harden do what he wanted to do at Houston mm -hmm. as far as even off the court, you know, catch the plane when you want to catch the plane. So let James Harden do what he wanted to do. But it, it all comes down to what you have you done for me lately. Here's the thing. When James Harden's pissed off, and that's my guy, he go to the extreme. He put on fat suits. <laughs> and, 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 I mean, he put on he put, he put the Thanksgiving plate on Twitter, what he's eating, which he probably ain't even his. Yeah. He go to the extreme to get out of any kind of day he can get into. I just think that Daryl Morey has had enough. And all right, we're going to play it to the finish. See what happens. Daryl Moore is a classic slickster, man. He told CP, I'm not going to trade you to Oklahoma City. He traded CP to Oklahoma City <laughs> a few days later. He told Harden, like Jeff mentioned, hey, man, listen, we're going to take a pay cut. We're going to get some guys in. Uh, they got uh, Montrez Harrell. They went and got PJ. And he said, man, just take a pay cut. We're going to reward you at the end of the season. And he didn't offer him a damn contract. Didn't even offer this man a contract. You know, so in turn, I get it, yes, Daryl Morey, what he did is the classic, hey, go to my people that said, no, we're not giving dude a long-term contract. Then he says, boom, all right, 
well, I can't do nothing. You got to save your ass. Mm-hmm. He saved his ass, man. So Harden is playing a dangerous game, though. He's going to be playing in Saudi Arabia mm-hmm. real soon. And Daryl Morey knows that. So what he does is he doesn't have as much leverage as we once would think because this is the NFL. You can't sit out. You can't mm-hmm. sit out in the NBA. Hell no. It's against the contract. He could be a locker room distraction like Weezy mentioned, put on a fat suit. But then in turn, you mess up the chance of that team actually keeping uh, Joel Embiid on the team. And that's the thing that you got to do because Joel Embiid only has four or five more years playing like this. So uh, you got to make sure this is a situation to keep the team competitive. It's lose-lose for both teams. So. Here's the thing. The phone ain't ringing for James Harden. The phone no, ain't ringing. No. He wants to play in L.A. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. And he's at the tail end of his career, which is and unfortunate. And, unfortunate. And, and it's just the phone is not ringing. It's a bad time for it. The phone is not ringing. And the Clippers just don't have anything to offer they to, don't. Make it, mm-hmm. to make it intriguing oh, for the 76ers. Right. Right. Yeah, it's the Clippers. He wants to play for the Clippers. And they said a member of the Sixers organization said, with knowledge of the situation, that Murray was not surprised that Harden was going to do this to make things personal. Because yeah. his agents had already warned him that he was going to take that approach mm-hmm. if he didn't get what he wanted. So... Nobody's surprised that Harden's doing this. Now, the key thing, like Jay kind of mentioned with the uh, MB situation is, Tuesday, MB removed Philadelphia from his Twitter bio. There we go. And he removed the word processing from his account. There we go. So is that, we know MB is real calculated with what he does. Is it just smoke? That was my or next statement, Coach. Is it something there that he may be trying to get out of there too? MB was a Doc guy. And y'all let Doc, I got rid of Doc for mm-hmm. James. Mm-hmm. And now you to him you you picked a side as Weezy would always say you gotta mm-hmm. choose a side got to and and B feels feels a little smit by you know feels a little strife by this and he's the guy he is the process if I'm in B and you looking at all this chaos I got to go now yeah get me out of it I gave this team everything I got everything mm-hmm. I have excuse me yeah. Mama Lock <laughs> I gave this team everything <laughs> I have mm-hmm. and at this point you gotta get out of there if you if you in B that's facts all right let's move on let's keep it in basketball a little high school basketball coach. Talk about much hyped five star prospect for Montverde Academy. Cooper Flag has reclassified to 2024. He was originally the number two prospect. He was originally the number two, number two prospect in 2025. He's now eligible for the 2025 draft. All right. Still unconfirmed where he will spend his post high school year, whether it be college or G League or another professional way. Okay. J Hove. Yeah. Cooper Flag's your guy. Yeah. He reclassified. How yeah. is this a big deal? Little deal, no deal. It's a huge deal, man. It's the number one high school guy in all of high school basketball, regardless of class. So, unfortunately, his dream school is Duke. But I think who, the main reason of how you can get this kid is you can bring his twin brother Ace with him. That is the key. So, the favorites, odd on favorites, of course, is Duke. is plus 300. But – the sleeper is UConn, a main guy. He wants to probably play a little closer to home. Staying in Connecticut would make more sense, but it's hard to turn down your dream school. Everybody here has a dream school where they would want to go to, and it's going to be hard to turn down a, uh, a spot on a Duke team being a six foot eight, uh, <laughs> power four white kid Ooh. going to Duke. He he's going. It's, it's hey. they haven't seen one like this at Duke. I think since Kyle Singler. The stories mm-hmm. write themselves. Yeah. He goes Mason, to do, oh, man. He that's themselves. easy, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy, though. Yeah. Yeah. What you got, Weezy? Well, the reason why this kid reclassified is he's just too good for high school basketball. He's too good for that class. Yeah. He had two years of high school yeah, basketball. Two, yeah, two more years of just dominating. It, it really did him no good. Yeah. It probably It's room for trouble. Probably take some money from somebody. It's room for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> money don't matter. It don't matter. That's yeah. legal now. Yeah. yeah. So, but- I just think it did him no good. I, it's, it's a great thing that he reclassified so he can get out there sooner and make some money. Yeah. They can make money now. Shit, yeah. yeah. What you got go? Get a million dollar deal. Uh, okay. What you got? In high Jeff? school. All right. So he's he's the number two. Pro- he was the number two prospect in twenty twenty five. I know he's you know he's people are saying he's the best American high school talent that we've had in a very long time. So I'm happy that he reclassified. I get to see him against real uh, competition again, real competition at the next level, whether yeah. it be college or whether it be G League. So. I, I want to see it. I, I don't have a dog in a fight where he goes to college. I don't think. I'm with you, Jay, about Duke, so I won't go there as yeah. far as, like, it, the story writes itself if he does yeah. go to Duke. But going to Connecticut makes a lot of sense, especially if the twin brother is a package deal. <laughs> yeah. It really just depends on how good Duke looks this year yeah. with all of those guys that they got coming in. Michigan State is on the short list. 
UCLA is on the short list. Yeah, that's a no but one, yeah. yeah, I just can't see him going all the way across the country. Duke driving from Maine isn't as bad flying all the way to UCLA. So. He won't be in the G League for sure. Yeah, yeah. shit, he might. You got to look at Scoot, yeah. G League, top five. Maybe. Yeah, nah, yeah, you can do that. Jalen Green, top five G League. Yeah, yeah. Me and Tom, yeah, come on, man. Yeah, me and his brother. Yeah, that's yeah, overtime. Over, over, yeah. over, yeah. over, yeah. over, yeah. over, yeah. Is it a cap on G League? How, how much money they can give you? I don't. I don't think he cares about money because he's making so much money in Montver. It don't yeah. matter. Yeah, yeah that's that, what I say. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. that shit don't matter. I'm gonna pass on this one. Yeah. Rule wise, I cannot <laughs> speak on this one, ladies and gentlemen. So, <laughs> but yeah, but it's hard to bet against a player's dream school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah. You guys ready to get started with halftime? Let's do it. Let's get it. Make sure you check us out on iTunes, Facebook, Instagram, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Beyond Pie, YouTube, Amazon Music, and Amazon Music. Yeah. If you got Amazon Prime. <laughs> Hell yes, there too. <laughs> Make sure you do all that. All right. <laughs> and when these ads start showing, ads are free if you got Amazon Prime or Amazon Music. Make sure you pick that out. All right. To get from the full archive of past episodes of FSP, just simply search for Sport Prince. Podcast halftime is what we're doing, cameraman. <laughs> it's the FSP song of the week. You know how we do it. We pick a song that's getting us, getting us through the week, whether from any artist, any genre, any year. Start with you, J Ho. What's mm. your song of the week? Man, I've been listening to my dog Deion Sanders Jr. Shout out to you, my guy. Pay the ton, man. Hey, you pay the ton, man. That song bang. Hey, Deion Sanders Jr. got about five songs. I'm telling you, once we once well we off. stop right here, well off well forever. Off well yeah. off forever. Oh, Saken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Weezy. Yeah, you got a jam. My song of the week this week was Child's Play by Drake. Mm, don't say shit like, whoa. Yeah. 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 Take it to the mall. I remember that. I remember that. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. No, I don't. Okay. No, no. That's on Take Care. No. Nah, it is on Take Care. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's on views. Yeah. Right on brand. It's okay. Nah, no, they don't view. See? Look, nah. yeah. It's so on Take Care. Nothing was the same. Yeah, it's on the double nothing album. Nothing was the same. Yeah. Nah, ain't on that one either. They ain't on that. Nothing was the same, but not the double what, album. What's, uh, and y'all the same. biggest Drake fans in the world. And yeah. you laughing at me. It's, it's, it's the last song on views. No, no it's, it's not. not. I already it's said down. it was on views. It might be on the playlist. I mean, last song on uh, Take Care. It might be on yeah, Scorpion. Any who's who. Coach Lock, what's your song? It's not on Scorpion. My song of the week was I Know from Travis Scott. On the Utopia. Oh, That's my sorry. song of the week. Okay, look at Child's Play is on views. Yeah, I said that. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Can I get my credit Circle for that? Back. I mean, no, I didn't. I already say this. That, that was always one of the songs I liked on the album. I, I haven't listened to the whole album. Dang. I, I put that song on the playlist. Man, y'all got to listen to Deion Sanders. Bucky, man. Shout out to Deion Sanders Jr. I got another song? No, I'm telling you, he got jams, dog. Go ahead. He had a couple. That's your man? Yeah, that's my yeah. guy. Yeah, 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 that's your man. Yeah. Yeah. My song of the week is The Game, Ricky. Ricky, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ripped that. He ripped that. I ain't listening to no games. In that <laughs> that's my playlist too, Jeff. Yeah, see, see, that's a war though. <laughs> games not gonna make it to twenty twenty four for me. I can't do it. He got them beats though. That's all. That's the he got that beat crazy on Ricky, man. He got them beats though. He got the, yeah, the, the game not making it to 2024. Oh, that's that's, 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 that's yeah. banging. That's on banging. And that is your FSP song of the week. Let's get ready for the second half, fellas. Let's get it. Sport Prize. Sport Prize. Sport Prize. This your boy FSP Weezy. Join us each and every Monday on all streaming platforms. And don't forget, everything is paid for. The Revolution will be podcasted. Second half. Second half. <laughs> Second half. Second half. <laughs> the 2023 college football preview show. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I was, yeah. she was getting to I it. am Jay Ho. <laughs> it's your boy Weezy. What it do? You just went out of turn. It's your boy Big Joe. <laughs> it's your man, Coach Law. Cameraman, yeah. college football players would trade individual accolades for a title, guys. Nevertheless, being recognized at the national level is a decent consolation prize like games accolades aren't won on paper but looking ahead for the 2023 college football season the following guys are in excellent position to claim a major national honor who we'll kick things off with the top hbcu prospect jeff what is that jay that is the best player currently playing at an hbcu wheezy give me your selection and why I can't go with my Shador Sanders and shit, can I? Like, I'm no, 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 I can't, no, no, I can't do that one. Yeah, go ahead, Jay. All right, so my player is uh, quarterback for North Carolina Central, Davius Richard. Put on a, put on a show. 
yeah. in the Celebration Bowl, coming back this year, had 52 passing touchdowns, scored a career total offense of 8,210 uh, yards of his career at Texas. I'm sorry, I'm not sorry, Texas State, at North Carolina <laughs> Central University. Mm -hmm. He's a player, man. Yeah, he is. He's a player. Yeah, what you got, coach? I had him also. He's the reason why they won that Black I College National like Championship him. game. Uh, and they beat the – Former led Jackson State Deion Sanders team who was undefeated, yep. uh, yeah. and he had a lot to do with why they won that national championship game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Davis Richard is my guy, quarterback yeah. North Carolina. Yeah, three. Yeah, Davis Richard as well because you look at it, they were predicted to lose that game yeah. in like like super fashion, like yeah. they were undefeated. Yeah. Like Jackson State went into it, it was just a formality that they were gonna win this game, yeah. and this kid. He had other, Showed he up. had other, yeah, he had other stories. Yeah, he had another plan for those guys. On top of that, I think he'll go for two thousand and rush for a thousand like Cam Newton did back in uh, two thousand. <laughs> and uh, he's you know, only two hundred short. Yeah, he's rushing this, this year. Yeah, yeah, going yeah, crazy. Yeah, huh? yeah, it wouldn't be surprised if he has his name on the list for that, that award for sure. Let's move right along to the next award, which is the best player outside of the Power Five. What's that, Jeff? Okay, Jay, that is the best player not playing in a Power Five conference, cameraman. Yeah, we sound like what you got? <laughs> I went with old tackle. Yeah, okay, Joe Alt from Notre Dame. Outside the Power Five, <laughs> but, but they but they not in a Power <laughs> Five, but they were Power Five team. They're okay, not, they're not in the conference. Yeah. You're right. Okay, yeah. all right. They they, they they not I know. in the conference. I, yeah. It don't matter. No, you you wrong with that. Tell me about Joe Alt because I got him winning an award. Tell me about Joe Alt. We no Joe Alt was a Joe Alt was he was graded ninety four percent on blocking. He's a it's gonna be all American probably. Oh I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah I, I know the name. I think he'd be a top ten pick. Yeah, so yeah, that's one of those guys, Jeff. All right, I'm going with UTSA senior, seventh year senior, <laughs> quarterback Frank Harris. I mean, he's a lefty. It's his seventh year, guys. Um, Jesus, yeah. this is seventh year. I'm gonna say it again. Mm -hmm. He's got one more after this. It's incredible. It's incredible with his COVID years. He's 31 and 11 as a starter at UTSA. Mm. Hey, seven years, Jay. Seven years. <laughs> seven yeah. years. Put seven up nine thousand passing yards. He broke every record they got. Every record. Every every passing record at UTSA. Yeah. yeah. So give me Frank Harris. What you got, coach? I had him also. Oh, ESPN has, has the best player in Texas. Mm, yeah, that's crazy. Every school, University mm. of Texas, Texas A and M, yeah, any yeah. college in Texas, ESPN has him as the best player in Texas. Yeah, and he's number thirty-two on ESPN's best players college football list. Yeah, yeah. at a school like University of Texas San Antonio. So yeah. be looking out for Frank Harris, quarterback. Yeah. I have Michael Pratt from Tulane. He's a junior. He put together the greatest turnaround in college football history past season. They were. Two and ten in 2021. Then they turned around and went 12 and two and won the Cotton Bowl, guys. So confidence is something that he has to worry about. The way that they beat USC in that Cotton Bowl, kind of similar to like we were talking about, my young kid, uh, Davius Richard. Nobody picked Tulane to beat USC. USC came in, you know, just a little bit swaggerless, overconfident. overconfident. Yeah. And my guy, Michael Pratt, who I think might play on Sundays, uh, will be a major factor. At Tulane again next year. So Michael Pratt Jr. from Tulane. I'm proud of you, dog. You're not doing like you used to do. If they did, if you didn't think they was gonna play on Sat on on Sundays, oh, yeah. you didn't roll with them. Yeah. So now you you yeah. sticking. I'm yeah. proud of you. Yeah, man. that's what we're here for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the next award, we have an impact transfer. What's that, Jeff? Well, Jay, that is play the player that played for another school last year that will have the greatest impact on his new school. That's right. right. Correct. Correct. Weezy, talk to me. Who's your biggest impact transfer? Colorado transfer, well, transfer to Colorado, Travis Hunter. Yeah. Travis so, Hunter. Yeah. Different. Yeah. Uh, I heard Urban Meyer say he went to practice with Dion, and he said uh, he looked at uh, Travis Hunter and said, you don't got to practice him no more. I had one of those before. This person hard. Mm -hmm. Rest yeah. easy on him. He's, he's good. Yeah. He's one of them. He he's special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's put special. him on the field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's got to put him on the field. Mm -hmm. they play, he playing Colorado. He got a blue jersey on here. <laughs> play. Yes, I did. Yeah, he's playing both him. sides. Yeah. He's playing both sides. That's, That's insane. Nice. Yeah. Who you got, Jeff? I got Sam Harden, the record setting QB of Wake Forest, going to Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. Hey, Notre Dame is going to be – shout out to my guy. Shout out to my guy Cam going to Notre Dame next okay. year. He's going to be there at the wide receiver. Got, got a quarterback to throw to him. Yeah, he do. Yeah. They ain't never had a quarterback like that in yeah. Notre Dame, like Sam Harden. Yeah. He broke all the records yeah, at Wake, Wake Forest. Yeah, yeah, he's different. Yeah. What you got, Coach? I had Travis Hunter, like we just meant. He wasn't number one overall crew for no reason coming out of high school. Nah. Yeah. And now being at Colorado with a full season of college football under his belt, 
that different type of power five nutrition and training. Yeah, man. Expect them to have a really big year this year. No question. This guy's the number one player in the country in 2021. Man, nah, I don't. Um, Now, nah, he's one of those guys. I have Fentrell Cypress. Plays cornerback, Florida State, man. Mm-hmm. Comes off a remarkable 2022 campaign, which he was named second team all ACC for UVA's defense. He made a big decision transferring over um, to the Seminoles. He picked uh, Florida State instead of going to Florida. So uh, <laughs> that's why I was paying attention to this kid. Major part of why Florida State is favorite to win the conference because of him. He locked down corner at low. Florida State. <laughs> So shout out to Ventura Cypress. I don't know if we stay low, Jeff. We projected j- j- number eight. It's <laughs> hard to stay low. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to the Jim Thorpe Award. Who is that, Jeff? Jay, the Jim Thorpe Award is the nation's top defensive back. Weezy, talk to me. Who you got? Man, I got Kool-Aid McKinstry. Yeah. yeah. Out of <laughs> Alabama. Yeah. He won it in. He, he forced yeah. 18 fumbles last year. I mean, 18 interceptions. He only had one interception, but they don't throw to his side, though. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's a Kool Aid McKinnis. Yeah, one of those guys. Jeff, I got Kool Aid as well. Yeah. Anybody with to get your name from your grandma, get your nickname from your grandma. I'm all for it, man. Give me Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah, what you yeah. got, coach? Same thing, man. I don't yeah. know how you can't go with this kid, man. Yeah. He led the Power Five with 332 punt returns, also. So he's one of those those corners that can lock down, but also special teams take the ball the other way. Yeah, Kool Aid is the guy. Like everybody's talking about him, but I think that guy that's gonna make the most noise and win this thing is Cooper Dijon plays for Iowa white corner guys white corner the white corner is murders at corner helped give Iowa a record-breaking defense last year as a sophomore he played outside corner he played slot corner played in the box even played a little bit of linebacker he had five picks last year three was returned for a touchdown I don't miss some cornerback ones. This is another one of my guys, Cooper Dijon from the University of Iowa. But look out, got to get a Dijon yeah. sponsorship. Yeah, yeah. Dijon look out, but look out for Caleb King too, out of Penn State cornerback. Cole, yeah. he's yeah. one of those. That's a good one. one of those guys. Yeah, Cooper Dijon. Yeah, Kool Aid, those the one everybody's love. He got the nickname, kind of yeah. like sauce, sauce, like everybody, yeah. you know. Yeah. But yeah, now nah, some guys. I move right along to the Dick Butkus Award. Jeff, who we got there? Well, Jay, that is the nation's top linebacker. That's right. That's it. Weezy, talk to the people. Uh, LSU linebacker, Earl Perkins. There we go. <laughs> yeah, 39 solo tackles, 72 total tackles last year, seven and a half sacks. Uh, he went viral last year because he played against Arkansas. He said he played with the flu mm. and had a monster game. Yeah, flu game. Yeah, yeah the flu mm-hmm. game. Yeah. 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 Jeff. Hey, man, for everything we just said, I also have Harold Perkins here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You got it, Jeff. I mean, coach. You got HP. Yeah, I did. Y'all boys got I HP. Did. Yeah. True freshman led all power five linebackers with a pass rushing grade. He's second among linebackers in the country, 18 quarterback knockdowns. The guy is sideline to sideline. He was a freshman last year. Yeah. Hey, listen. Hey, I have Tommy Eichenberg from Ohio State. Mm. This is the – hey, <laughs> had a breakout season in 2022, named first team All-American as a sophomore. Gotten better every season. He's been a Buckeye. Just one of those – Linebackers at Ohio State is coming up, and I got him for the next award as well. <laughs> Man, this is what I'm trying to tell you. Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year, Linebacker of the Year awards. He's winning everything. Yep. He's one of those guys. Tommy Eichenberg, Ohio State. I like that. Yep. Moving on to the Chuck Big Norick Award. Jeff, what's that? Oh, Jay, that's just the nation's top defensive player. Yeah. Weezy, who you got winning this? Uh, I got I got out of Florida State, the edge rusher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's his name, Jeff? Jared no. Verse. Jared Verse. <laughs> Jared Verse. Yeah, That's a good pick. Yeah. He's different, though, man. Yeah. Uh, he he could be top five pick next year. Man, no could be. Yeah, no, nah, he's one of those. He came yeah. back to be a top 10 pick. Yeah, he, he did. did. Yeah, he what did. You got, I'm doubling down on Mr. Perkins, though, yeah. for the, for the uh, Chuck B. Nark Award. For everything we just said, 39 solos, uh, seven and a half sacks, three fourths fumbles. He's everywhere and just a freshman. Coach. Yeah. I'm going my Florida State guy, man. Jared Verse, man. Yeah. He's one of the best college football players coming back from last year. Ranked second among Power Five edge rushers last year, and he's just a beast, man. And he's going to be a lot of reason why they have us ranked number eight in the country preseason poll. Oh boy, yep. <laughs> That's why I have Tommy Eichenberg winning this as well. From Andy Katzenmeyer to AJ Hawk to James Laurinaitis to Ryan Shazier, Raekwon McMillan, he's the next one of the great middle linebackers at Ohio State. Tommy Eichenberg, Ohio State. Good football name, too. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Football you know what he look like. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Superhero <laughs> jawline. Yeah. All yeah. of that. Yeah. 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 Moving on to the Outland Trophy, Jeff's favorite award. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Jay, that is the nation's top offensive lineman. Talk to me, Weezy. I'll double back down on 
<laughs> I know. Damn right. I'm a yeah. Notre Dame guy. Yeah. yeah. Joe Alt. Control Alt Delete. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. That's what he does. What yeah. you got, Jeff? I got Cooper BB from Kansas State. Okay. Three year star, the first team all Big 12 selection at left tackle mm-hmm. 2021. Returning number one and turning interior lineman for 2023 for the PFF. Give me Cooper BB. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What you got, coach? Tell him something, Joe. <laughs> Joe from Notre Dame, man. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's going to be the top lineman probably taking in the NFL draft. Ain't even close. Yep. Coming off a memorable true sophomore campaign, I have Joe Alt as well. Started 13 games last season, kept it off first team AP All American honors, minutes off the edge, 21 straight starts under his belt, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Has the experience in the production, dominate on the gridiron every Saturday. He's never been more responsible as far as taking care of Sam Hartman this year, though. So a lot of riding on old Joe Alt. Mm-hmm. So yeah, control mm-hmm. all, delete Joe Alt. Mm-hmm. Let's move right along to the John Mackey Award, Jeff. What's that? Jay, that is the nation's top tight end. Weezy, talk to the people. Who you got? This ought to be unanimous. Yeah, I think this one is unanimous, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Brock Bowers, man, from Georgia. Yeah. Just a flat out monster, man. Yeah. 1,600 yards last year receiving as a tight end. Yeah. Uh, a, he, that, but there hasn't been no tight end that won back to back ever. Yeah. He mm-hmm. could be the first one. He will be. Yeah. Barring yeah. injuries. It's yeah. a damn shame he got to still play college football. Yeah. He should have been able to come out last To year. think this kid was a walk-on. Yeah. That's and nuts. they was thinking that he wasn't even going to play his freshman year. And he could have won the damn Mackey his freshman year. He different. Yeah. He won it. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's a, Go ahead, Coach. I mean, it's consensus. Yeah. For everything uh-huh. you guys already said, man. He's, he's the best tight end in college football. It ain't yeah. even close. He's yeah. dominated every receiving category at the tight end position. Yeah, I don't think he's a more dominant player at a position than Brock Bowers at Georgia. I think unreal expectations for him in 2023. Like Jadavian Clowney, unreal yeah, expectations. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy Coming for a tight end. Yeah. But thank Travis Kelsey, thank George Kittle yeah. for redefining that position because they said he's a combination of both. Yep. That's nuts. Yeah. Would y'all be mad at him if he sat out? No. 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 Michael mm-hmm. Parsons did it. Mm-hmm. My next two, him and my next pick for our next reward, the same, uh, have the same thing. As long, I don't, I wouldn't be mad if they said that. Speaking of, what's the next award? This is the Fred Belitnikoff Award. What's that, Jeff? I'm glad you asked, Jay. That is the nation's top wide receiver. Who you got? This might be unanimous too. I don't think so. I got Marvin Harrison Jr. from Ohio State. Mm. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean. He was the best. Might have been the best last year. His best last year. He, he was. Should, he should have won the award last He's year. Best but, last. Uh, I mean, it didn't work out his way. Yeah. But he had 878 yards, 14 touchdowns. But 878 yards, people saying oh, they went 1,000. But he played with a loaded receiver room. Yeah. Loaded receiver. Two, two of his receivers went to the league. Yeah. And another one about to get yeah, yeah. two more about mm-hmm. to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What you got, Jeff? No, it's, that's who I have. Marvin yeah. Harrison Jr. As long as he plays. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be mad if he sit out because he can't gain anything. Yeah. He or Brock Bowers cannot gain anything for playing this year. Yeah. Except yeah. for maybe a national championship. Brock already got two, so who cares? Yeah. yeah. yeah but other than that, like, yeah. Yeah. Yo, what you got, Coach? Man, against I had Harrison too against single coverage. He had eight hundred and seventy eight yards. So anytime you put him out there by himself, he was gonna dominate. And that's might be what holds him back this year, is they yeah. made double and leave his other wide receiver open who's going to kill also, who's probably going to go to the league also. But I had Marvin Harrison. We do this every year, and we have these guys that we think are just going to win. We thought uh, Jackson Smith and Jigba was going to win it last year. Just never really worked out. Injuries, a bunch of different things can happen. I think it, not injuries, but I think a lot of the attention will go towards the Heisman quarterbacks wide receiver. So uh, that's why I have Dorian Slinger from USC winning mm. this award. He broke out in a major way last year for Arizona. Um, ranked second in the Pac-12 in receiving yards. He won't be suiting up for the Wildcats this year. He's going to USC, staying in the <laughs> Pac-12. Smart man. He'll join that team. And, uh, yeah, he torched them last year for 141, two yeah. touchdowns. So, so, three touchdowns, actually. Somebody got in his ear, right? Yeah. Like, hey, son. Hey, that money. Son. Hey, son. Hey. Come on with that money. Come on, play. You son. really going to yeah. play. Because you got Caleb Williams throwing you the ball yeah. next year. And, and the way that he him. threw all the balls to Jordan Addison, last year he's going to do the same thing for Dorian Slinger yeah. from USC. Moving right along to the Doak Walker Award. Jeff, what's that? Well, Jay, that is the nation's top running back. Right. What you got, Weezy? Michigan running back, Blake Horn, man. Yeah. Uh, mm. he He's different. I don't know if you want to go to the NFL playing running back right now, but <laughs> he's different. I, I think he's the way Michigan, Michigan could win the national championship because of this guy. Yeah. If 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 Blake Horn doesn't get injured, guys, last yeah. year, he yeah. wins the Heisman. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. wins the Heisman. Yeah. yeah. What you got, Jeff? Uh, my top running back, I have Quinshawn Judkins from Ole Miss. Damn right. Freshman of the year, 
Hey, SEC, first team all SEC. Twitchy. Yeah. Cold. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything I'm saying, y'all got yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. What you got, Coach? I had Blake Corum. He led all players in college football with the highest grade from a PFF they've ever seen from a Power 5 player. Mm -hmm. 96 combined rushing first downs and touchdowns, second most in the country. Michigan, we know they're going to be the type of team that's going to run the ball. Mm -hmm. So they're going to give him the ball again. He's Just as long as you stay healthy, he's going to the same kind of year. Yep. I'm rolling with Jeff. I have Quinshawn Jenkins from Ole Miss. How the hell did Alabama and yep. Auburn let him get out of the state? Yep. That's the question that yep. I have. As a freshman, you lead the SEC in rushing? That's crazy. Come on, man. He split time last year. That's not happening. in How you split time and get 15? <laughs> that's crazy. Man, people were trying to get him to transfer. He stayed with um, my guy Lane Kiffin, Weezy's guy. He going to stay there, figure it out. He, he might go for 2,000. He going to go crazy. So it's not off the yeah. table. It's not yeah, off big the table. year for Quinshawn Jenkins. Moving right along to the Davey O'Brien. Jeff, what's that? Well, Jay, that is the nation's top quarterback. QB1. Weezy, talk to the people. Man, I want to. Nah, I just ain't any names. There's too many good ones out there. I, I want to go with Keller Williams, but I'm not. I'm going to go with Quinn Ewers right there, man, out of Texas. Mm. He might not have a job. No, nah, he got it. He got that <laughs> job. There's yeah. politics on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, he gonna, he gonna, Nah, he going to play. Yeah. But uh, Quinn Ewers. He's going to finish the job. <laughs> yeah. If he stay healthy. Quinn Ewers is a monster, man. Uh, if he stay healthy, uh, it may be one of the best quarterbacks in, in college football. Yeah. Easily a top five pick. We see politics getting into a lot of this stuff. Yeah. And that's what didn't – that was the reason that Trevor Lawrence played early. Yeah. Same reason that Justin Fields didn't play early because they had uh, Jeff's guy that was a QB1 at Georgia. That's why he left and went Wait, to Ohio State. Yeah, it it was was no, 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 no. Uh, the other the, quarterback. Uh, yeah, uh, um, uh, yeah, they yeah, got him. Yeah, quarterback, like quarterback face. Yep. Come on, man. White play boy. play the Georgia. White yeah, boy. white boy, man. Uh -huh. Braum? Jeff Braum? Nah. No. Break. Uh, starts at, that him. Well, who you finna say right there? Nah, that he played for Buffalo. He don't play in the NFL no more. He's sorry. He shouldn't have – Justin Fields shouldn't have never left Georgia. They would have won that championship that year. You said that on the show, and I can't think of the kid. Yeah. Man. Georgia, man. Be, uh, yeah, man. Nice this and Bennett. Um, Jake uh, Fromm. Jake Fromm. Jake Fromm. Yeah, yeah Jake yeah. Fromm. Yeah. Yeah, Jake Fromm. Jake yeah. Fromm. yeah. Fromm. It's all politics at QB1. Yeah. Um, but, it's yeah. It's a franchise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talk to me, Jeff. Who's your Davey O'Brien? You got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. Wow. Join Travis. Yeah, you got to do Damn it. Damn right. They should stop quarterback. Take it to the promised land, young man. <laughs> Take it to the promised land. They usually give the O'Brien to the second run up for the Heisman, so that makes sense. Mm. Yeah. He might win the Heisman shit if they'll do it right. Yeah. 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 What you got, coach? Going right with my, my co host right here. It's set up for him to, hey, to do it the right That's way. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> what? <laughs> boy. It's set up the right way. He had the second highest college grade last year among Power Five QBs. Talk to him, yeah. coach. He's the only quarterback in the country that plays top 15 in both big time throw rate. And Talk to him, coach. Play. He had the year. Mm -hmm. And now he has more weapons around him to make another good year. Yeah, I got Jordan Travis winning this. He transferred in 2019 and he was considered a runner there. And yep. Can he still run? Absolutely. Yeah. But now he makes all the throws that you need him to make in the route tree. Uh, he put up crazy numbers like Coach Minson, kind of mirrored uh, Jameis Winston. He's going to have one of those year, big year for him. He expects to have a better offensive line than when he got there. Significant, yeah. significant upgrades mm -hmm. on the defense and offensive side of the ball. Mm -hmm. Man, this, there's strengths now. Before – when he first got there, those were weaknesses on yeah, you guys' yeah. team. Yeah. So, at least on paper, should make for a big season in Tallahassee. Yep. Moving on to the Home Depot Award. What's that, Jeff? Well, Jay, that is the nation's top head coach. Weezy, talk to the people. Man, I, I, I didn't drink Kool-Aid, man. I'm rolling with Deion Sanders, man. Oh, oh you <laughs> drunk the Kool-Aid. You yeah. drunk the Jim Jones Kool-Aid. Yeah. Put all the shit yeah, in the Kool-Aid. I'm, sure. I'm rolling with Deion. Yeah. You brought your house party one Kool-Aid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. All right. <laughs> um, that's tough. Jeff, talk to the people. I got uh, Kalen DeBoer from Washington. Okay. Look out for Washington, cameraman. Remember how I said Cincinnati to the moon? Look out for Washington. That, 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 that's Look two out for Washington. Thing. Okay. In the Pac 12. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. What you got, coach? If Jordan Travis has the year he has, Mike Norfolk is going to win coach of the year for Florida State. Because that means we're going to dominate the ACC. Oh we're going to go to the college ball playoffs. Oh, I'm going with coach, yeah. Mike. 
Um, oh, dominate. Oh, you just make my stomach hurt. Y'all ain't playing nobody. Ain't nobody in the conference. I know. It's just we haven't dominated in a long be, time. Man. The Clemson. cupboard is bare. You said they ain't going to win. They ain't going to be Clemson. Clemson. Man. Clemson got a running back, a white running back. That's it. That's it. They that's got it. defense. They got a white running back, and that's it. Um, my pick for this award is Jim Harbaugh, Michigan. Mm. Led Michigan to back to back Big Ten championships and college football playoff appearances. Perhaps more importantly, the Wolverines fans have also beaten arch rival Ohio State twice in a row, back to back. So the next step is to bring home the national championships as alma mater, which one of the best rosters in the country to do that. Cupboard is full in Michigan. Um, I think he had a good chance to do so. Moving right along to the granddaddy of them all, the Heisman Trophy Award. What is that, Jeff? Jay, that is the College Football Player of the Year. We need to talk to the people. Uh, I went with Joe Milton on this from Tennessee. Okay, I like, I that. like that. Joe Milton, okay. man. I, I, I might drink the Kool-Aid on this one, too. but they, nah, he going to put up numbers. Yeah, he put up major numbers. If that he can, offense. Yeah. That yeah. offense is going to be potent. Mm-hmm. He 6'4", just as fast as all get out. Can throw the ball a mile, literally. Yeah. Country mile. Yeah, what you got, Jeff? Let's go and do it. Let's do it. Let's get out there. Oh, yeah. Joe and Travis is winning your Heisman Trophy this year, cameraman. Yeah. Yeah, he's winning. Yeah, tomahawk, he's yeah. dragging that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The one that Tomahawk got. It's going to show the face yeah. like dude. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. What you got, Coach? Hey, man. Everyone loves the comeback story. And Jordan Travis has been with us since 2018. Let's go, Coach! We've had four straight losing seasons. <laughs> he's helped us get back on the right path. And if he can lead us to the expectations that everybody yeah, has with him. the TVs for the end of the year. With this roster, what you say, please? He will be hosting the Heisman Trophy. What you say, Jordan please? Travis. Y'all have some broken TV. <laughs> I never broke a TV. Oh, ain't that, that crochet. <laughs> I ain't never done that. that I ain't never done uh. it. Never will. It ain't that crucial. <laughs> Coach, it's just a saying. My God. <laughs> I, know, I know, but I'm just saying. But you done it, though. Have you, you done it before? You broke something before? Like I broke controller. I definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. broke controller. Have you broke something before? Yeah. See, I ain't never done it. So it ain't just a saying. I you done done it. definitely broke yeah. controller. Yeah. But, but, Coach, you cut the game off. You just get upset and cut the game yeah, that's, off. Yeah. That, 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 that's, that's the same thing. thing. No, it's not. You ain't got to torture yourself, Coach. I ain't got to go buy nothing else. You got to torture You got to replace that controller. All right. So, um, last year when we did this, at the time last season, Ohio State, C.J. Stroud, I said it was easy go for him to win this. He was plus 200. Caleb Williams is plus 500 right now, guys. That's insane. That's how good he was last year. The Trojans, the defense did not help Caleb in 2022, though. Back loaded with a regular season schedule. I ain't it's, playing nobody. You're a damn lie. You're a damn lie. They play? Dude, they have to face Notre Dame on the road, Utah, Washington, Oregon on the road, and UCLA in five of his last final six games. We all know the Heisman has won the second half of the season. So Man, where the first game of the week at? First game of the year. I see it on the line week one. Week one, we got Oregon season on the line. Oregon ain't been the same Oregon. Oregon got, got a Utah. Heisman trophy guy. I remember this time last year. Y'all saying y'all, we're going to get our ass whooped by yeah. Florida State. Yeah. We're going to get our ass whooped by Florida State. I was say, here, so I know I didn't I say that. I said that. Oh, I definitely said yeah. that. Whole, everybody and was now, saying that. that. That's what I'm saying. It's no, Jordan no, 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 no. It's Jordan Trapp. You, you can't say and now when you got a completely different team. Yeah. It's, it's not a completely different team. Ooh, that transfer portal has helped us a lot. You, you y'all literally got, y- y'all got a corner and, and a DN. And you and you just said alignment is better. So is alignment not better So I'm literally, can I finish talking about that? You can, I'm just saying. Yeah. So returning to the Pac-12 title game would be a relatively tall task for Caleb Williams. If he does that, if he does what he's supposed to do at USC, got a wide receiver one, got the same defense coming back with a little bit better as far as being a year's uh, further, as far as progression, I think it's his award to win and lose. I got Caleb winning, going back to back. Caleb Williams. Hi. Okay. Yeah. All right. Quick break. Yeah, look out for Jaden Daniels, too. Jaden Daniels coming back. Jaden Daniels Saddle. could do it. Yeah, that Saddle was my – yeah, I was thinking about him. Quick breakdown. Who wins the Big Ten? Wheezy. Talk to the people. Michigan. Got Michigan. Okay. What you got there? Ohio State. Ooh. What you got there? Michigan. I got Michigan, man. Everything we talked about. Yep. Who wins the Big 12? Wheezy. Texas. Woo. They say Texas back. Yeah. I got Texas. So, Texas. I got Texas, man. Took a step in the right direction, man. So, yeah. I got them. Yeah. Queen of though. You got to watch out. Back to it. <laughs> Who we got win? SC. Fight on. Washington. Wow. Man, Washington. Fight on. <laughs> you think Washington going to win it? I got Washington. Yeah. Wow. What you got, Coach? USC. 
Yeah, USC lost to Utah twice last year. That won't happen again. I got USC win. SEC, Wheezy. Texas and L. And L. Okay. Hey, Georgia in a landslide, dude. <laughs> Georgia in a landslide. Could be. But you, know, you got I, Georgia. No. I got LSU. Uh, for everything, Jaden Daniels, he's back. Hit the transfer portal hard. Testament. This how tough the SEC. Yeah. The best odds yeah. in the entire conference to win that conference. Yet they're tied for fifth best odds to win the entire national championship. So. I know Texas yeah. and them. Got to get a return on that investment. Yeah. <laughs> and they hired – they had an office coordinator that can call plays. Yeah. This is the thing about Texas A&M, man. They got a, they have a top five recruiting class for the last six years mm, since Jimbo's been gotta there. Got to come together sometime. So, in turn, they's got to turn around. Mm. I think they. I think this is the year for A&M. For sure. And who wins the ACC? What you got, Weez? Clemson. What you got, Jeff? Florida State. I don't go throw that arm out. Florida State. <laughs> Florida, State. <laughs> Florida State. You got Florida State win? Yeah. Right. Offense back, defense back, man. Who you got? I got oh FSU. Yeah, they should win that. Yeah. They better. Clemson. Shit. Clemson, yeah. Clemson got Clemson got the are, are they defense Clemson defense is gonna be right gonna be right. Yeah. Clemson the past two years had the worst quarterback play in in Dabble Swinney's tenure. Yeah. 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 Quarterback play is gonna be totally different this year with, with, I agree with, with Caleb. That. Yeah. I forgot his last name. Yeah. Uh Cupnick. Caleb Cupnick. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, they gonna this, gonna, this is the thing. They haven't beat him in two years. Florida ain't beat Florida State. Yeah, well, t- Florida State ain't been good since 2014. It's the first time they've been for a championship yeah. since 2014. Yeah. So, yeah, but this is the thing about that that conference, and it always bites them in the ass. You don't play enough real games until you get to the playoffs, and then you get your motherfucking. I mean, you get beat really bad in the playoffs because you're not the strength. Not Clemson. Not Cle- Clemson is the one representing ACC. Yeah, they don't you know, get beat. Don't really beat right, right. No, this is what I'm trying to. Tell you. When they play, y'all conference is so bad. It's so bad. That's why everybody leaving. Those boys, those Clemson teams were Clemson teams. I'm talking about now. There's nobody in that conference. It's y'all in a cloud of dust. It's two teams. Like Clemson, bro. I'm yeah. telling you. What I'm saying is that's one game. Who the other game you got to get up for? Wake Forest from from year to it's not there's not there's not Vegas year. has Sam Hart for yeah, those. There's not year to year powerhouses, but they have teams. Wake is bad. Syracuse is a that's upset why, away. Like, that's why Sam left. Because that team is bad. Wake Forest, NC State. Wake Forest beats Florida State on even good Florida State years. North Wake Carolina Forest has been, been starting yeah, that bad. We don't have powerhouses. I understand what you're saying. But so we have teams that pop up every once at once every five or six years and have a good team. So what I'm saying yeah. is, you look at even you go to the Big Ten, the best like this, in football. Pac-12 is the same thing. Utah. Okay. Oregon. Oregon was not good this year. This Oregon was year. good last year. Just, Coach, what are you talking about? What was they? Go ahead. I look, we'll look at Oregon it. Oregon was good last year. They had four teams in the top 25 last year. And they lost because Bo Nix, he, he, he fell off at the last. At the last. Hey, really good. That's a good conference. They lost four games. USC. Like, come on, guys. But there's no better. <laughs> <laughs> There's no better conference than the SEC. If you have the team that is the – they're the third best team in the conference, their fifth best odds to win a national championship is LSU. Like, come on, man. You got LSU, you got Georgia, you got Alabama. What are we, what are we doing? Oh, Miss is going to be good. T, UT is going to be really good this year. That's, you didn't catch an m Yeah, a m Come on, man. That's why we're going to win four games. Shit. Look what we got to go against every week. Shit. College football playoffs, speaking of. Weezy, give me your – let's go four. Everybody give me their four, the fourth slot. Clemson. Jeff. Florida State. <laughs> <laughs> Texas. I got Florida State at four. Three, Weezy. <laughs> Texas. <laughs> Jeff. Alabama. Florida State. I got Alabama at three. Two, Weezy. Texas and them. Ohio State. Michigan. Michigan. And one seed. Georgia. 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 LSU. And that is the college football breakdown for 2023. Great. Always fun. You know, it's it's not as fun when your team's bad. (laughs) I know all about it. 
But, you know, we'll win four or five games. You know, we got a really, really good recruiting class coming mm-hmm. in in 2024. Mm-hmm. And we'll be competing in 2025. We'll beat y'all back to back years. Uh-oh. They're not beating us this year. Oh, They're not beating God. us this year. Oh. That ain't happening. It's rough from Vanderbilt talking yeah. to you like that. Yeah. It's all good. Year. Y'all haven't been good since 2014. We played in the, in the SEC championship game three years ago. So find out a way to, to worry about the wrong thing. We were we were we were a cleat away from playing a national championship game. <laughs> Wait, I just said I said Vanderbilt's talking to y'all. Yeah, I, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But Marco Wilson threw a cleat against LSU. Yeah, that was rough. and that got us out of the national championship. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. out of trouble. So, that we we won eleven games that year. Y'all ain't won eleven of, games in a long time. Y'all yeah. hope to win eleven games this year. That was out of control. Okay, yeah. So yeah, we. Uh, but you listen, <laughs> oh, four or five wins. I ain't gonna be doing no dancing this year. <laughs> no dancing? No, I ain't doing no dancing. You didn't do no dance last year. Yeah, I did. Y'all, you know, we came off. out. We came out be Utah first yeah, game. You started off. Hell, yeah. you talking about? I got money. I hope y'all beat them again. Yeah, yeah. We not though. I'm tell you right now. <laughs> Utah loaded. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, Utah just bring back the same exact team. Yeah. Same Pretty team much. that beat USC twice. Yeah. yeah. And the quarterbacks back. Yeah. yeah. Whole damn team. Yeah, man. So let us know, man, what y'all think about Florida State's a meteoric rise to the top. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, man. Boy. hey, man. Everybody been in the projects before. We've been, we been yeah, in the projects. Y'all, y'all was in the projects, too. we project years, living, man. coach. Let, you know, it's part of it, man. It happens. Yep, man. It happens. Francois years was rough. <laughs> it was worse than that after <laughs> Francois. I don't say that's where start, <laughs> Francois years started it. The project. Yeah, yeah. yeah. DeAndre that Francois. Was never my guy. That was my guy. Hell yeah. Was yeah. Never mind. That was my guy. Francois, man. That's tough. Yeah. Now, two some questions. Throughout the week at Full Sport Press, don't forget to comment. Give us a thumbs up on the YouTube page, on the iTunes page. Please rate and subscribe. And more importantly, don't forget to tell a friend. To tell a friend. Tell a friend. To tell a friend. Weezy. Everything paid for, big brother. Jeff. Camera's always on, brother. Coach. Get a drummer song. Cameraman, the revolution will be podcasted. We are out. Thank you for listening to the Full Sport Press podcast. To catch up on previous episodes, please check out the YouTube page and wherever you find your favorite podcast. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. The revolution will be podcasted.